What is up, everybody? Hutch Catch Em All here, coming at you with some amazing news. First, we gotta turn down that brightness because that was killing me. Anyways, uh, this is huge. This is a freaking massive update of 66 new features in Draconius Go. The article is called "I Want to Know Everything," man, because we want to know everything. That goes for Draconius. It goes for Pokemon Go, and thankfully, Draconius Go is giving it to us. They're they're letting us know these things. So, anyways. I'm not going to go through 66 things because some of them are small and they don't need to be talked about right now. It's something, I'll, I'll leave a description or a link in the description below to the actual article. So if you do want to read up on those little things, because I mean they're good to know, you can definitely go and do so. But I'm going to be going through the, the biggest and most important ones that I've thought popped out to me and that I think would, that you guys would like to hear about. So anyways, we'll get straight to it. You'll notice these aren't numbered in order because I went through and just chopped and took everything I wanted out of the article. Alright, so version 1.2 we got here. A silver and golden league player can place two creatures in an arena or library. Three creatures if it has an artifact. That's freaking, that's a game changer. That's huge, guys. If you have the artifact, you can put up to three creatures. But even if you don't have the artifact, you're still putting two creatures in gyms and libraries. I already tried this out because I actually was playing as soon as this update dropped. They dropped while me and my uncle were out on a hunt, so it was really cool. Anyways, next update, the amount of taxes from arenas has been changed. So now you get drag coins and essence from uh, when you collect from the gym, which is really cool. Because, hey, the more ways to get essence, the merrier, honestly. Like, essence is so useful. It's the same with, we asked for it in Pokemon Go. We want more ways to get Stardust. And Draconius Go is giving us ways to get essence or Stardust. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the double ring artifact is cheaper, so that's cool, because artifacts, you have to pay out the yin-yang for those, so it is uh, definitely good that they made that cheaper. Uh, we got higher level players can be can be attacked only by rare or strong monsters. That's for real, though. I had this ultra rare creature that was like 1686 attack me. We still whooped up on it, but I was like, okay, we got a little bit of competition now. It gave me some good rewards, though, good, uh, good ruins. Um, Alright, creatures in the Rift of Arcana will not regenerate anymore. So what I think that means is basically what's in the Rift when you get in there is what's in there. If you go and catch something, there's nothing that's going to regenerate in a spot. What's in there is what's in there. There's nothing new that's going to pop up. Um, uh, okay, so 5-5 five five has changed. So the 5-5 five five stat, obviously your strength and uh, your health. Uh, there will be more of those. So now you're going to find 5-5 five five stat creatures more frequently, which is freaking huge. I know a lot of people that haven't even got a 5-5 five five yet, so that that's great, that's awesome. So Dragon, okay, now this one is um, a nerf, unfortunately. It's not the end of the world, but you know, it kinda sucks. But uh, Dragon's Eyesight works only in the world in which it was activated in. So now, if you're sitting on a rift and put a Dragon's Eyesight on, you can't switch from the rift in the real, real world. So if you put it on in the real world, that's the only place it's gonna work. If you put it on in Arcana, that's the only place it's going to work. So, uh, you got to choose which one you want to put your Dragon's Eyesight in very wisely. Alright, so now we got, there will be more chests in the Rift of Arcana, and they will be there until the Rift disappears. This is already noticeable, because me and my uncle went in the Rift, and we were seeing chests pop up pretty freaking frequently. So, shout out to that one, I really like that one. Uh, the buff from a chest is the same for all players who open it. So, if someone gets a temporary buff that's like, you'll get only the best potions for your level uh, from Pillar of Abundances, and you get that out of a chest, and say your buddy or a family member or whatever the case is, opens the same exact chest as you, um, they're going to get that exact same temporary buff is what this is saying. Alright, so, the frequency of receiving 10 kilometer and 10 hour eggs has been increased. That is freaking fantastic, because I think I've only got one or two 10Ks and one 10 hour egg so me and teddy bear we have had absolute crap luck when it comes to uh 10 kilometers and 10 hour eggs but hey now we have our shot all right the longhand spell will now be active for four days now i never knew what the longhand spell was but teddy bear and kimber i believe have it and i think they said it lasted a week before so this is another nerf but it is what it is guys uh, so the treasure map chooses a place with roads and buildings. There will be there will be no maps with only water or a forest. So this is freaking huge for all of you golden egg hunters. Um, basically, it's going to be in a very notable area, an accessible, hopefully an accessible area. It's not going to be where you just see a bunch of green on your screen. There's no notable roads and maybe just a little body of water. It's going to make it so it's much much easier to track down just exactly where the golden egg map is going to be. So 
That is huge. That is a big one, and that's exactly why I picked to put it on here. All right, so here's another one. The place of a treasure is the same for all players of Silver and Golden League if they take the first fragment in one obelisk more or less at the same time at the s more or less at the same time at the same time. It repeats itself. My bad, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> but either way, if you're going, you want to do a Golden Egg Hunt with your buddy and you're both Silver or Gold League, your Golden, Silver and Golden League can now go in uh, do Golden Egg Hunts together. All right, the quest with a chain of pillars has less predictable route now. I decided this one because I've done that quest. It's the quest where you have to spin a pillar of abundance and then it arrow does like low arrows that points you to another pillar and you have to spin them. You gotta do like 15 of them or more. And uh, it's less predictable now. So it's not good because I see where this is an issue. You'll spin one and then it goes to one of the stops that's in the middle of someone's yard because it's the closest one. So hopefully this is gonna take away some issue um, it's not the biggest update, but I figured I'd just mention it. Uh, so, some rewards for quests have been changed. So, that's cool because the only rewards I've seen from quests is like, oh, here's time off your arena. And to me, that's like, okay, whoop de doo So, hopefully, you can maybe, maybe even score artifacts, dragon's eye sights. Don't quote me on it, but if so, that would be lit. Alright, next. Some rewards. Okay, yeah, I already read that. The amount of XP required for level 22 to 31 has changed. And I can tell you right now, guys, it means it went up, unfortunately, because at level 23 to 24, it was originally 125,000 XP. And I checked, and now it says I have to get to 175,000 XP. So they ended up uh, bumping it up, which kind of sucks. But hey, it'll keep uh, people playing uh, more consistently, obviously, because if everybody hit the top level right away, you know might lose some of your players there just like Pokemon Go why they made it so hard to hit level 40 so when working in the background mode the application uses less battery so hey more battery the merrier so that's a big one uh, we fixed the button uh, of closing a creature's window after refusing to upgrade or evolve it so I've had that it's just where you try to get off a creature because you didn't want to upgrade it or evolve it and you click X and then you get stuck in there and you have to either close out the app or go to the bestiary uh, it was really annoying, so it's definitely good that they fixed that. <clears throat> we fixed the bug with double deletion of items from the bag uh, <clears throat> with unstable internet connection. This one's big because my uncle even pointed this out, and he was losing items super quickly when he was trying to get rid of them. The charged attack of an opponent will no longer be transferred from a dead creature to the next one. Huge, because I can't tell you how annoying it is. You finally take down a creature, and then like one with even more CP comes out, and it's just blasting you with a charged move. And it's like, are you serious? So that's pretty big, guys. Um, an opponent's creature will turn towards the player, player's creature <clears throat> before using a charged attack. We've improved processing a player's action in battle. Now the creatures will respond to a player's command better. We've made it impossible to avoid damage by changing creatures. Okay. The errors with clearing an arena because of inactivity were fixed. That's huge because I can't tell you how annoying it is when I've held down an arena and all of a sudden I just get bumped out of it without anyone taking me out. So that's pretty cool. Sorting by the best area number is added. Number is added. Huge, because I can't tell you how many people are requesting that. So, you know, Draconius Go came through. The element of the current day can now be seen when using pheromones. Again, huge. The algorithm of choosing a random element for pheromones in the week is improved. Again, huge. Creatures who were attracted by pheromones or lures now spawn on a more comfortable distance. That's pretty awesome. Models and animations of some creatures were improved. Cool. So maybe the creatures look a little bit cooler now. I'll have to go check out on that. Uh, we fixed the bug when you lost several spheres when making one throw to catch a creature. Huge. Now we don't have to buy balls anymore or go out and try to grind getting a bunch of balls. We've improved the processing of another building blocking the installation of an altar. That's big, especially for Teddy and Kimber. <laughs> The altar disappears automatically after a spell has been cast. We fixed the bug with players finding different treasure maps when they receive the first fragment from the same obelisk at the same time. We fixed the bug with the broken treasure map in some places of the planet. <clears throat> We've decreased the frequency of receiving an incorrect message about moving too fast. There we go, guys. 
you can now go over 3 miles per hour and play the game. I believe it shuts off around 23 to 25 miles per hour. So now it is getting to the colder months for some of us. So now you can car farm, you can have your buddy drive, and you can dual wield. You can have their phone and your phone. And it's very helpful because it makes it finding new creatures much, much easier. Because this is a game that's very spread out and it's very hard to do if you're just walking. So it's alright to car farm. I know a lot of us do and me being one of them. So this is huge. We can now finally move at higher speeds and play the game. Uh, obviously do it safely guys. Don't play the game and drive. Be safe. Don't want to see any of you get hurt doing this. It's huge that they fixed this. I really am psyched about this. But guys, be smart. Be safe. Alright. Uh, and we've decreased the... Actually, did I skip one? We fixed the bug with some broken treasure. Yeah, I read that already. Um, we've improved the player's interaction with creatures and buildings when moving fast. So yeah, now you can spin pillars of abundance as well moving too, which is huge because now you're gonna you're gonna rack up on items. It was very hard to get items before. You literally had to walk to each pillar, and it just made things a lot harder. But that is 37 things that I thought were important and notable about the brand new 1.2 update in Draconius Go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please slap a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, comment down below. Let me know if this was helpful. Thank you if you stayed through and listened to this entire video. I know it was kind of long. 37 things is a lot to talk about. But anyways, guys, you keep doing you, being amazing, and have a fantastic weekend. I will catch you on the flip, guys. Peace out.